be right there. No! You stupid over! Get out of here! Oh, I knew you'd find us! Oh. Once upon a time in the Hayati channel, Abdan Zed decided to go to a land far, far away to meet Shrek and his crew. But it was a time of confusion because they were told to cover their mouths and noses with a piece of cloth. Wear a face mask. And they were told not to come near other human beings. Don't come near me. For fear of infection, for which there was no cure. <laughs> there is no vaccine. And they even had to purchase a ticket. That's right. To enter the land far, far away, up in the clouds, which the humans Hi. call online e-ticket. And they had to wash their hands with some sort of magical chemical that disappears when you rub your hands together, which the humans call sanitizer. Sanitize your hands. Hey, you're scaring the kids. Okay, okay. Enough horsing around. Time out, time out. Let's get back in the real world. Let's get back to the vlog. So, back to the real vlog. Behind me is the Shrek's Adventure. Brought to you by DreamWorks in collaboration with Merlin Entertainments. It's located in South Bank. We want to quickly do a 360 very quick. Now here is a wonderful place, uh, you can do the London uh, Dungeon which is located right next to the Shrek's Adventure. Over there you've got the sea life and of course you've got the iconic London Eye. Shrek's Adventure is a live interactive London indoor based uh, experience based on the successful movie Shrek. So if you've seen the movie and if you still if you haven't seen the movie, nevertheless you're going to enjoy it. You're going to see characters based on the movie performed by live actors. Uh, not only you will see, oh, you got a seagull there. Why right, that's so important, I don't know. Thought of love. Now this place is actually not that very old. It was opened in July 2015, that's around five years. And it's one of a kind. All of these buildings, Shrek's Adventures, London Dungeons, Sea Life, etc. are all here in this building, it's called County Hall. Hall. Here is the facade of the Shrek's Adventure. It looks very gorgeous, very vibrant and colorful. Uh, it is actually aimed for kids around the age of 6 or 12. Even though I, being an adult, actually, when I went there, I actually really enjoyed it. So let's see what they have. If you start from there, so this is the entrance. What does that say? Live the fairy tale. And then if you pan over there, that's the entrance. You can see the Shrek's Adventure logo over here if I zoom in. Uh, they do advise you, you should book a slot online because they are going to get sold out very fast. Uh, you can see Shrek's kids. And Shrek, you got, you got the doll troll. You got a lion. Now Shrek's Adventure is brought to you, like I said, by DreamWorks and I believe at the end they got other characters from DreamWorks movies such as Madoka Squaw, um, How to Train Your Dragon, Kung Fu Panda, etc. Shop entry, this is the uh, gift shop. Last time I went there it was actually pretty good, pretty enjoyable. Who knows, I might end up buying something. Current time is 2.42 and we have a, a Shrek's Adventure booked at 3 o'clock. And also, just like the dungeon, it does include a ride. So it does include a 4D ride. Uh, but due to COVID-19, I'm not sure how things are going to work out. This is my second time, and it's the first time for my wife. What is your anticipation for I'm this place? I'm expecting some fun and some interesting stuff to do with Shrek. You've seen the movie Shrek, right? And uh, what do you seen, make of I it? Think, well, how many there are? I think I've seen them all. Yeah, do you like it? Oh, I like the first one 100%. The next few were not as good, I thought, but that's my personal So opinion. do you have a, like a refreshed memory of the characters in Shrek or Shrek, is Fiona, fading out? Donkey, the dragon. Yeah, so if you have a background to it, you should, that experience should be interesting. Great 
adventure. Yeah. Got no bottom bed up here. And record the behind. What a great day to have a great adventure! I'm gonna come in, security. Come in, come in. It's not security, it's security. Please remove off all your clothing and place it in the thing. I'm gonna come in, security scan. That's very different. Conscience! A conscience is that little voice inside your head that tells you the difference between right and wrong. And I have your boy with this conscience, don't like me, right? Absolutely. Good evening and welcome to Wheel of Torture. <laughs> you avoid. And speaking of victim, let's all give a big hand to the little wooden boy who wants to be real, Pinocchio! <laughs> So just had our photo taken. This is the wrist thing that they give you. We had to we were told to stand here. Please stand here. This is really impressive. The theming all around, all briefcases, suitcases. Responsible for killing my favorite witch and then big bitch 
trouble. Now I'm gonna deal with you myself in person. Me. Everyone, this way. Follow me. And now I choose to find myself a new print. And hang on. Do I recognize you? What am I dating? Is that a new print? Greetings! I am Esmeralda. No doll. See doll. I just don't hear very good. You, what is your name? Oh, I don't know. I knew you were coming here, my friend. How did I know? Well, I knew because I know. And I know because I knew, but you knew that, no? I see something horrible. Something horrific. I see that. <laughs> Right, who's got a message for me concerning my goal then, eh? Is it you? What's the message? Now, in order to summon up the spirits, we must all perform the summoning the spirits dance. And it goes like this. Jazz hands, jazz hands, clap, clap, clap. Let me see. Jazz hands, jazz hands, clap, clap, clap. Now you, as the highly trained professional dancer, you will perform something a bit different. Watch closely. Here we go. A boom, boom, oompa, oompa. Push it, push it. Point it up, point it up. And polka. How was that for you, my friend? Now <laughs> ah, you're picking up. Here we go. Jazz hands, jazz hands, clap, clap. And boom, and boom, and boom. someone who can cook it up. But hurry, you don't have much time. Right, thank you, Shrek. I mean, thank you, Shrek. Now, my friend, when you get to the poison apple pub, you must give the ugly stepsister this message. Magic portal! Let me see. Magic portal! Yes! Now lead to that door, my friend. Go! Get up! Then never return! Welcome into the poison apple pot. The name Doris. Oh, well, I, you guys can call me Doris. I'm the more attractive stepsister of Cinderella. Any of you got a uh, message for me? From the fortune teller over here? Magic portal. You need the hair of a hero. Did someone say hero? <laughs> Am I to understand? Yeah. You are in need of my very valuable services. You need someone fast, someone fearless, someone furry. Yes, it's I. Puss in boots. Fear me if you dare. What? Here we go. Well, I guess that cabbie will never pass out. Hey, I know what's your name. Okay, now you gotta remember this is the hair of a hero. What's it called? Perfect! You remember that? Then I'll make sure this gets to the muffin man! Or maybe not the black things. Come on! Yeah! Shoot! Come on, get out of here! What's your way to Greetings! My name is Thelonious! And I just got a call from my new boss, Rumpel Stilskin, saying that you want a magic portal. And you need something called a conscience. That's the word. A conscience is that little voice inside your head that tells you the difference between right and wrong. Uh, and I have your boy with the conch punch, don't like me, right? Absolutely. Good evening and welcome to Wheel of Torture. Oh. you avoid. And speaking of victim, let's all give a big hand to the little wooden boy who wants to be real, Pinocchio! Yay! Boy, oh boy, this sounds like fun! <laughs> and now our quiz master, Thelonious! The rules! I ask three simple 
questions, answer correctly, and I release your little friend. Oh, oh yay! <laughs> but get one wrong, and I practice my woodworking. According to Shrek, ogres are like A, an onion, or B, the Tower of London. Correct. <laughs> Question two. Puss wears A, movie slippers, or B, boots. <laughs> that is also correct. One more easy one, and you and the boy are free to go. Uh, According to the Do Not Municipal Code 1142 concerning drainage culverts, it must be dug to a depth of exceeding 82 cubits, or B to a whole width minus one half feet deep. Oh, sorry, thumbs up. Really? Yes, it was me! Incorrect. <laughs> now for some fun! Oh, that'll be the boss. Your hand up, huh? Oh, here you are. You're so great, but now we need to hook up your magic portal spell. Hello, suckers. Welcome to Rumble Silkskin's mirror mirror. In this room down this side. And see, my friends, and you can't do my door, it will close. Now, my friends, you came at the perfect time. I have just finished baking a delicious toad in the old, although I would not recommend the German shepherd pie.